Good afternoon. My name is Mark Pennine, Technical Manager, Talents One Installation Systems. I just want to take a minute to say thank you for joining us today with today's Learn From Home webinar. To stay connected during this time of social distancing, we will host an Ardex Talonstone webinar every other Tuesday at 1 p.m. Eastern time. In two weeks, we will feature a brand new course focusing on Ardex performing Talonstone installation. Be sure to sign up for that webinar. Today's presentation will be on the exciting new Ardex exterior installation systems. We will be discussing the many challenges faced with exterior towel installations and solutions the Ardex systems can provide. Today's presenter is William White, field marketing specialist for Ardex Talent Stone. William started his career with Ardex over nine years ago and has held several different positions through his career. Mostly, most recently, field marketing specialist in the US for Ardex Talent Stone Division. William is passionate about the towel industry and education. He is a committee member and NCPR certified instructor for the Columbia Towel Trades Joint Apprentice Training Committee. William passed his certified towel installation certification in 2015 and supports the National Towel Contractors Association as a state ambassador since 2017. Additionally, William has contributed on ANSI subcommittees, updating ANSI 1.10, Section 5. We will be holding a question and answer session at the end of the presentation, so please feel free to submit your questions in a real-time chat function. William, all yours. Thank you, Mark. As Mark indicated, Exterior tile installations are very demanding and present some challenges. Today, we will look at some of the difficulties as well as the benefits of the Artix exterior installation systems offer. Paving with natural stone has been around for thousands and thousands of years. Natural materials such as bluestone, quartzite, sandstone, as well as flamed granite and some slates are common materials. Porcelain is also a frequently used material. As one of the unexpected outcomes due to COVID, people are in their homes more than ever, and as a result are investing into their personal space. Much of this development has been to improve the outdoor areas of their home. From a design aspect, the indoor-outdoor concept continues to grow in popularity. There are challenges with these projects with regards to exterior tile installations. To address these concerns, Artex developed a joint partnership with Gutiar, a premium manufacturer in exterior systems. Founded in 1989, Gutiar is the inventor of capillary passive drainage systems. We'll go into that more later. The four Ardex systems we'll be focusing on for today's presentation are Ardex ProDrain, Ardex Teramax, Ardex Watec, and Ardex TSL pedestals. Typically, traditional installation methods were thin bed directly bonded, bonded mortar bed, floating mortar bed, and dry set. Here's an illustration from the International Masonry Institute of a direct bond with thinset mortar. Here is an image of a bonded mortar bed application. A bonded mortar bed, as pictured here, requires additional height at doorways, etc. Note per the IMI not to exceed 100 square feet with this type installation. Here is a drawing from the International Masonry Institute on a floating mortar bed installation. These type of installations have been around for centuries. Now we'll show some photos of mortar bed assemblies next. We have the float and cover, a two-step process, or the wet set or live set method, 
as well as the dry set method typically over sand or gravel bed. Direct bond installations are all susceptible to heaving on the left, spalling in the center, and cracking on the right. The number one threat to exterior tile is movement. Movement is typically deflection or expansion contraction, as shown in this slide. The substrate, the screed, and the covering, or tile, all expand at differing rates. This may not seem like much. When our grout joints are sometimes only an eighth inch, it's a lot. As we, as we all know, the trend for larger and larger tiles with smaller and smaller grout joints. Yet larger format tiles and smaller joints can create its own concerns. These coverings of natural stone and tile are not waterproof. Eventually, water will enter the assembly. All these photos show different effects of water entering the assembly and getting trapped. None of the installation methods previously mentioned manage topside water intrusion from rain or snowmelt, reduce the risk of unsightly efflorescence, minimize the risk of heaving and tenting from thermal expansion or freezing standing water, or allow the insulation system to dry out evenly without permanent discoloration of the tile and grout. If you choose not to manage the water, be prepared to manage the maintenance. The first of our four exterior installation systems from Artex, the Artex Pro Drain Drainage System. Let's discuss capillary active versus capillary passive. On the left is a traditional mortar. On the right is Artex A14 drainage mortar. Now let's see what happens when these two examples are placed in water. On the left, we have our traditional mortar bed. On the right, we have the Artex A14 drainage mortar. We are seeing capillary action on the right and capillary passive on the left. Simply put, capillary passive interrupts the capillary rise. Here we have the specifications on the Artex Pro Drain system. Note over occupied space, an intact roofing membrane would be necessary on all the systems we're discussing today. All the components of the Artex Pro Drain system are shown here. Note the Artex SK-175 is used as vapor management in this assembly. This system is also designed to incorporate drainage grates and different edge profiles for various tile or stone thicknesses. Next, we'll show you a short video on the installation of the ProDrain system.
So apparently our audio isn't working here. So what Mark is doing in this video is he has applied the Artix Edge profile, and then he is attaching the uh, edge banding or edge profile tape. He has it notched out so that the fleece and fleece intersection, we don't attach fleece over top of fleece. This is a self-adhesive tape that attaches the profile to the substrate. Then with a metal roller, he's simply going to roll down and ensure that we have a good bond with our tape. Now that our substrate is prepared, we're going to install the Artex SK175. Here we're using Artex X90 outdoor mortar, keying it into the substrate, and then combing everything out. Then the Artex SK175 membrane can be applied to the wet mortar. Now on the edge of the ProDrain tape, there is a black line, and we simply line up the Artex SK175 to that black line to give us our overlap. Then using a flat trowel, or here, a taping knife, we press the mortar, press the SK175 down into the mortar. So now we'll go into the Artex ProDrain installation. So here we have the Artex ProDrain membrane. We have already attached our profiles and we're using a buildup plate that matches the height of our finished installation. It's important to note that when installing the ProDrain membrane, we want to ensure that the profile that it has some weep holes and we don't want to plug those up with mortar. So we're going to install a, a banding tape right there that ensures that the mortar does not come in contact with the weep holes. Now we're using the Artex A14 drainage mortar that we talked about previously. This is put directly on top of the Artex drainage pro drain membrane. And this will be screeded into place in a wet on wet application. You'll notice that the Artex A14 drainage mortar has a larger aggregate than we typically see in a dry pack. This is part of the capillary passive installation system. Mark is then going to screed this into place, creating a perfect bed for our tile to, to then be placed onto. Once he has the mortar bed where he likes it, then we'll begin the installation with the tile. So here we have a 12 by 24 porcelain tile. We're going to use Artex X90 outdoor mortar and simply trowel the backside of the towel, tile. So Mark has flat troweled it and then combed in one direction. He'll then place the tile directly on the wet A14 mortar. And the advantage of the wet and wet installation is he can simply tamp down the tile to adjust its height. Once the tile installation is complete, you want to be sure to fully support the edges of the tile with the A14 mortar. So he'll then pack that back towards the edge of the tile.
and their marks packing it right into the edges of the tile to fully support that tile on the A14 drainage mortar. And now you could go ahead and install the next tile. As you can see, the Artix Pro Drain system is very easy to install and allows for a variety of different material thicknesses. Our next Artix exterior installation system is the Artix Terramax drainage system. This system utilizes cement pedestals made with Artix X32 mortar over the Artix Pro Drain drainage membrane. This system is designed specifically for 2 and 3 cm pavers, natural stone or porcelain. This design can also include the optional drain grates to manage wind-driven rain and snow melt at the door location. Here we have the specifications on the Artix Terramax system. The joints can be left open or the new Artix SX can be used for a more finished look. There is a specific detail or schedule for the Artix X32 cement pedestals as illustrated above and would vary depending on the size, tile, and format. This system allows for a very low profile assembly with two or three CM pavers over a capillary passive drainage membrane. Next, we'll see a short video on the Artix Terramax system installation. So here we have the Artix Pro Drain drainage membrane. And you'll notice that we have a seam between the two pieces. The Artix Pro Drain drainage membrane has this overlapping seam with a self-adhesive membrane that you simply rub down and it bonds the two different pieces of drainage membrane together. Now for end seams, we have uh, seam reinforcement tape if we were connecting the end of two panels together. Sometimes it is helpful when using the Artix Pro Drain drainage membrane to roll it out in advance and allow it to relax. As we begin our tile installation, it is important to note, again, that we do not want to fill the weep holes along the profile. So we actually have a drainage tape. Oh, he's gonna jump right into the, um, creating the X32 pedestals. First, we're going to screed or flat trowel the material directly onto the Artix Pro Drain membrane. using Artix X32. Now Mark will create the pedestals using this template. These cement pedestals are typically about 3 sixteenths of an inch thick. So he's created the pedestals here that will support the tile. And as he finishes up the last pedestal, we'll trans transition into the tile installation. So the back of this piece of tile, they're going to flat trowel the entire back of the tile. And it's ready to be placed on the cement pedestals. It is important to clean the edges of the cement pedestals. Mark is using a, a tool designed to do this. You could also use like a paint stir stick and simply cut through the mortar to separate those cement pedestals from each other. Just like that.
The Artex ProDrain and Artex Teramax utilize different edge profiles as pictured here. With ProDrain, the edge profile is locked into the A14 drainage mortar, while with the Teramax edge profile is secured to the substrate. With three different edge profiles and three different buildup plates, we can accommodate 12 different heights from just 11 millimeter or just under a half inch to 90 millimeter or just over three and a half inches. Our third Artex exterior drainage system is the Artex Watec drainage system. This unique system allows for the lowest overall height and still maintains the capillary passive attributes. This method also incorporates typical 3 8 thick tile. Here we have the specifications on the Artex Watec system. This system allows for the use of Artex X90 outdoor or Artex X32 mortars with a variety of tile sizes and formats. Along with the choice of Artex SX or Artex FL high performance grout to finish the joints. Let's take a look at a cutaway of this system. As you can see here, the tile and mortar are suspended above any potential water, creating our capillary passive feature. This system, <clears throat> as well as the two previous methods, are 100% uncoupling from the substrate, allowing these systems to be used over a variety of waterproofing systems. Notice the small blue dots in the middle of the mortar. That's the reinforcing mesh of the Watec 150 mat. Now we'll go through the installation of the Watec system on one of my projects here in Portland, Oregon. <clears throat> After checking the substrate for flatness and proper slope, the, the edge profiles are attached. Then laying out the Arctic's UD146 drainage mat, seen in the second picture, and connecting all the mats together with the Artix seam reinforcement tape. The mortar, Artix X90 Outdoor in this case, is then keyed in and combed onto the surface. The tile is installed in a typical fashion. The joints can be finished with Artix SX, 100% silicone sealant, or Artex FL high-performance grout. Again, the Artex Watec 150 allows for the lowest possible height and utilizes typical thinset tile installation methods. Next, we'll watch a short video on the Watec 150 system. So the first step in installing the Artex Watec system is to attach the UD146 perimeter isolation strip. Sorry, UD156 perimeter isolation strip. This tape has a self-adhesive strip on the bottom that when pressed down into place will stay in position. Now the Watec drainage membrane can be placed over top of that up to the edge of our profile. So here we're going to actually put down a tape that protects mortar from seeping down into those drainage slots of the profile. And now we can be begin our tile installation utilizing Artix X90 Outdoor. First, we're going to key mortar into the substrate using the flat side of the trowel.
And then turning the trowel around, Mark will then comb out the mortar and be ready to place his tile. So again, he wants to check and ensure that against the profile that he cleans that joint. So he simply wipes that out using his Ardex sponge. And he can continue with the tile installation. With a straight lay installation like this using 12 by 12 tiles, we can use the Artix FL high performance cement based grout. We would want to ensure that all of our joints are clean and free of any mortar. Our fourth Artex exterior installation system is the Artex Teramax TSL pedestal system. The TSL pedestal system is designed for 2 and 3 cm porcelain and other approved natural stones. With four different size elevations, <clears throat> we can accommodate many job site conditions from 26 millimeters barely an inch tall, to 120 millimeters, almost four and three quarters of an inch, with the addition of the 80 millimeter TSL adapter, we can get three more additional inches of height if necessary. Additional accessories for the Artix TSL pedestals are available, including a rubber sound reduction pad, edge profiles, distance spacers, and a joint spacer for larger joints. The distinctive leveling head accommodates up to 9% slope without the use of shims or props under the pedestal. With many heights available, we can customize a pedestal to fit your, to fit your application. The pedestals are pre-assembled, meaning more progress on the job site. Mark and myself would like to thank you for your time, and we will now open it up to any questions. If you haven't already, please feel free to use the chat function to enter your questions. Okay, William, a um, couple questions that came in. Uh, one of the questions is, what, is, what if a porch application would have connecting steps. How would you address the steps? Oh, yeah. So we do have a, a, a piece that is called an, an SD stair assembly. This is a special order piece. So if you have stairs on your project, we absolutely can have a continuous tile, you know, go across the flat sub surface and then down the stairs as well. Great, thanks. Um, another question came in about a wood deck substrate. How would you prep the surface of a wood deck to create slope? So wood decks are, are treated slightly different than a concrete substrate. A wood deck must be constructed with proper slope. So this would need to be adjusted during construction um, by the carpenters or framers. Um, unlike a, a concrete substrate where we have options to create that slope, a wood substrate requires that the slope be built into it. Thank you. Uh, I think there's one more. Can we, um, can you install the A14 drainage screed and then come back the next day once the drainage screed is cured and install the towel on top with a uh, mortar. Yes, yes. So that would be considered a float and cover type application. And this is approved. 
Now, in that type of application where you're applying the A14 first, allowing it to dry and then coming back for the tile installation, that screed would need to be incredibly flat um, because unlike where we do a live set, you can't actually uh, tamp the tiles down into the A14. So the preferred method would be to use the A14 wet on wet method. Um, it just allows for a little more adjustment of the tile. Thanks, William. And I yeah. think that's all the questions. Okay. Um, actually, it looks like I saw another one. Uh, do these have uh, commercial use applications? So uh, we are seeing that uh, a lot of times in commercial spaces on rooftop decks uh, that um, you know people are wanting to utilize that space on commercial properties. So yes, these these. Uh, type of exterior drainage systems can be used in commercial applications as well. I think that looks like all of them, Mark. Perfect. Thanks, William. So please uh, join us in two weeks. Um, that is May 11th for Ardex Super Format Tau Installation Systems. Again, we want to thank you for taking your time out today um, and uh, learning a little bit about the Ardex exterior systems. And we'll see you in two weeks. Thank you very much.